What's up, man? 25 Gamers. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at the base man defense out of our 4-4 uh, four, four defense, our base man blitz. And the play we like to use, we like to pl use the play cover two man, but uh, you can use it out of any man play in the formation. It just, it's just all, it's all relevant. And uh, let's take a look at this. So cover two man is what we call, and that would be the quick audible up from this formation. And all we're going to do with this, we're going to base align our coverage. And just like before, we're going to crash our defensive line out. And then I really typically will just only re-blitz the right of screen outside linebacker. You're going to see you're going to get right edge pressure here. And uh, it's really effective for quick setups. I mean, literally, there's, there's three setups that you have to do. Baseline, crash line out, re-blitz that linebacker. And you don't have to manually click onto them. You can do them all global setups, which is what really draws me to the 4-4 defense in general. The pressure's pretty quick. It can't be stopped with the play action blocking and all that stuff that people are doing. So it's really effective, and, and all they can do to stop this is block a running back. Now, if they block a running back, what we like to do is we like to send both guys, so both outside linebackers. And this is an instant where we're going to try to man up Allen on Hickson, or we're just watch him because Allen's usually going to be our user player. But here, for example, they're going to block a running back, and we're still going to get a guy free off the left edge. Now, this is all a mind game. You send pressure out of your zone, then you call your base man coverage. Then you send pressure out of your man, maybe call your base zone coverage. Then you go to your run defense on fourth and short. Different situations that we can use these plays in, but the reality is, is that nothing changes. It's the same look. It's the same look, and you can do a lot of things out of this. You could you could zone your linebackers here. I mean, there's no reason you can't like to do that. Zone them up. Now you've got this kind of a look. And now at the snap of the ball, they don't know if it's man or zone. Oh, wait, it's both. They hesitate. Sack. I mean, it's the simple concepts we like to use. And you could do this out of any formation. What I like to have in my man blitz is a man-to-man -man coverage play. That I can it, typically, I really, if I could get it out of two man under, that's what I'm going to use because two man under has that great trail technique coverage. But here, for example, we'll put the safety into purple and he'll just lurk stuff. It's just a different look to throw it up if they get confused, they make mistakes, and that's how you get turnovers in Madden 25, guys. This is the base man blitz. Once again, base line, just like last video, crash D line out, re blitz right of screen outside linebacker, snap go, and you've got pressure coming off the right edge. Same concept, but to the left side now, crash line out, re-blitz left linebacker, and now you got left pressure coming from the left edge. And then if you block a running back, you're going to base a line, crash line out, re-blitz both outside linebackers. Yes, there's going to be a guy uncovered, and that's your responsibility as a user player. And if they block a running back now, you see you're still going to get pressure off of that left edge. These are very important concepts to have when building a defensive scheme, when finding pressure. You want to make sure that you can send it off the left, the right, and both edges, sending six guys with the same look pre-snap. Different coverages behind it is the key to blitzing the mountain 25. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you have any questions about the 4-4 defense or man blitzing in general, please let me know in the comments below. If you have any questions in general at all about mountain 25, let me know in the comments below. If you have questions that you don't feel comfortable asking on the comment section, you know, you may be newer to the game, please do not hesitate to email me. Uh, my email is in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to subscribe, I would be grateful to have you. It's awesome to have all these new subscribers. But for those of you who already subscribe, be sure to do this YouTube channel a favor and share this video on Twitter. Until tomorrow, guys, have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow.